The following opinions are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. Two years ago, Yamaha created a buzz by developing a 19-foot jet-powered center console, and it was an immediate hit with both fishermen and families. Now they've gone back to the table to expand on that line with a 21-foot twin-engine version, the 210 FSH. Let's see how they've done as I do a full features inspection and performance evaluation. For Boattest.com, I'm Captain Steve. Now, as with all Yamaha boats, there are different versions of the same model. There's the 210 FSH, the 210 FSH Deluxe, and this model that we're on, the 210 FSH Sport, that has everything that Yamaha offers. We'll start by taking a look at the fishing features, which begin here in the bow, with two casting platforms elevated off the main deck. Underneath the casting decks, there's storage to the port hand side and insulated cooler to the starboard side, and in the center deck storage, there's space for a five gallon bucket. I like that the hatch is held open by a gas strut and notice the gasketing all the way around. Over on the port hand side, we've got a mount and pre-rigging for a trolling motor. Take a look at how this boat accommodates rods. Two under the gunnels to each side, four in the cap rails to both sides, three vertical rod storage going up through the bimini on both sides of the console, and four rocket launchers in the back. That gives us a total of 22. At the stern, another elevated casting deck wraps around the helm seat. The flip seat back also adds comfort to our fishing. To the starboard side, an aerated live well. And notice the hatch is held open by tension hinges. Another cooler is located under the helm seat. Here's an innovative feature. At the flip of a switch, water from the jet pump gets diverted to a hose, so now we have a washdown. Now let's take a look at how the 210 FSH Sport handles families, starting again at the bow where now we have cushion seats where we can either face sideways or lounge facing forward. There's non-skid matting and drink holders on top of the storage pods, one to each side of the boat. On the port hand side, this gives access all the way underneath the seat. We have a cooler underneath the starboard seat so the storage stops here, but we also have a wastebasket in the door. A forward-facing seat in front of the console allows yet another person to join in on the conversation. And underneath, take a look at this. A lift and lock latch opens the storage inside. A curtain is provided. This can be used as a changing room or an optional head. It's got five feet, two inches of headroom, and there's additional access to the electronics panel behind the console. Padded bolsters to port and starboard not only are comfortable for fishing, but also add a significant safety factor for the families. They start at 24 inches forward and come up to 28 inches. At the stern, they start at 20 inches and come up to 24. Seats to both port and starboard of the helm add another level of comfort. I can brace myself up against the frame going to the T-top, but I'd like to see seat backs being installed. Of course, a Yamaha just wouldn't be a Yamaha without this innovative transom that works so well on all their models. Here, it's great for sitting back and reclining, gives us easy entry and egress from the water for both swimming and water sports. Now let's move on to operations, starting again at the bow, where we have this anchor locker. We have a total of seven four-inch pull-up cleats, one at the bow to secure the anchor road, three to each side for docking. The helm is nicely laid out with dual analog gauges to either side of the 4.3 inch Kinex touchscreen that gives us a wealth of information. Surprised and happy to see that there's a compass included in the panel. Rocker switches are all below and circuit breakers are just above those. Over on the right hand side there's plenty of room for a moving map display. One has been installed on our test boat. Clarion stereo with Bluetooth connectivity in a space underneath just for putting our stuff and I like that it's padded. Have the dual engine controls. Just to the left of that, the jet wash control and our cruise assist and no wake mode switch. Ignitions and blower are to the left hand side of the steering wheel which is mounted to a tilt base. And I'm always happy to see the addition of a steering knob. Moving down, there's a lockable glove box with a lift and lock latch. Open storage just alongside with USB and MP3 connectivity along with a 12 volt accessory plug. And love the positioning of the angled footrest with padding underneath and there's also padding all the way down on the deck. Yamaha did a great job on this windshield that in this case is high enough to provide plenty of protection at speed. And overhead, look at this beautiful T-top, elongated rails, and it's collapsible. Easy access to the engine compartment where we have a great installation for the tried and true Yamaha TR1 high output engines that our tests have shown both excel in fuel economy and reliability. Now, if any obstructions get into the jet port with any other boat, you're gonna have to get in the water and start fishing that out. But not on a Yamaha here. 
We just go to the transom, open up this hatch, and look at this. Clean out ports to both sides that include engine cutoffs as soon as the hatch is open. The Yamaha 210 FSH Sport has a length overall of 21 feet 3 inches, a beam of 8 feet 6 inches, and a draft of 1 foot 5 inch. With an empty weight of 3,003 pounds, half fuel, and three people on board, we had an estimated test weight of 3,764 pounds. With the twin Yamaha TR1 high output marine engines turning 8,000 RPM, we reached our top speed of 43.8 miles per hour. Best crews came in at 6,000 RPM and 27.7 miles per hour. It was at that speed that the 8 gallon per hour fuel burn translated into 3.5 miles per gallon and a range of 156 miles, all while still holding back a 10% reserve of the boat's 50 gallon total fuel capacity. The 210 FSH Sport is definitely a sporty handling boat, and unlike most other jet boats, it clings to the water rather than spinning out and falling off the turn. She's quite responsive to the helm and leans into the turns well enough that you don't feel like you're getting thrown to the side. And she's easy to drive since all you have to do is shove the throttles forward. There's no engine trim, no trim tabs, no muss, no fuss. Crossing wakes shows a nice transition across the chop with spray kept low and wide for a dry ride. All in all, it's among the most comfortable in the brand. Well, great handling, a roomy layout, and versatility all seems to come together in this 210 FSH from Yamaha. And that is by full features inspection and performance evaluation. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.